digital marketing misfits. Yeah, if you right? want to create content and you want people to see something uh, or share a message about yourself, no matter what you want to create content about, just start with why you're creating the content about it and your people will follow, right? Like that's the message here is it's the why behind it and the group of people will follow behind it if that comes through in your messaging. Yeah. yeah. And like you get to know, I hate to say you get to know people without actually meeting people, but like you do. Like yeah. either we, we, most of us have met in person, not all together. Like we, the six of us have never been in the same place at the same time. But I think all of us, when we've met, in pairs or groups of three, we've all like already knew the person, even though we were meeting for the first time, which I thought was wild. I obviously never experienced that before becoming a content creator. Yeah, I talked to you guys more than my real life friends. I mean, I literally said I was yes. going to go on vacation with you guys, essentially. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's not weird, but it's so like, I trust you guys more than I do the people around me half the time. Like, come on. It's true. It's weird. I have internet friends, but no, like they're like real friends though. <laughs> no, we found we found each other based on interest, not on like. Right, that's the thing too. Right, where you're connecting based on interest and not because you went to the same high school and you're like, oh hey, that's someone's in my school. Let me Facebook friend them, mm -hmm. and then now you're only going to see each other's posts because you actually knew each other in real life. Now it's like, well, half the people that I went to high school with, I can't care less about what they're talking about, but like you guys, I can sit here and nerd out with. Yep, which is awesome. I'd much rather hang out with you guys right now, for sure. Absolutely. No. Uh -huh. and it all starts if you're if you're sitting here listening or this just post about anything you know, this. i've got internet friends from the 90s that's awesome yeah we wow are that's crazy i'm married that's from like the internet wait what, <laughs> Come what? On, I get story time now oh my oh it was back in my space days hopefully that doesn't age me too much Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I sense a viral story coming on. Spell uh, the wife. The wife found me and she's like, "Hey, do you want to hang out?" I guess kind of like me and Dom. Dom, you want to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> Same voice used. Um, yeah. were, so were, we were you out, in her we, top eight, or was she in your top eight? No, she just. It was just like a random direct message, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm going to play poker tonight. You want to go?" She's like, "Yeah, okay." So we played poker. We went out. Had a romantic dinner at Taco Bell. <laughs> I found my first girlfriend ever on MySpace. So there you go. You know, it must have been the song that played when you clicked on the profile. That's what it was. Definitely one of the songs. I think it was probably some really sad, depressing R and B song at the time too. So it's, <laughs> totally tracks. Totally yeah. tracks for that one. So was it Brian McKnight back at one? Maybe that was a it lot of profiles been. back then. <laughs> It could have been. It could have been um, Ruben Stutter, two thousand four. At the time, yeah. I am not really sure what it was, but I do know my first girlfriend came off of MySpace, and there was never going back. Uh, too cool. bad How that MySpace people... had that that problem where all the information got deleted. I would love to go back and be able yeah. to look at some of the stuff. And I wouldn't. I do. I wouldn't, dude. Does anybody remember Zanga? I loved my Zanga. I think it, I don't. I think it still existed the last I checked. Ah, oh, I just went to Zanga.com and it's Zanga 2.0. They just updated all. Their, like, I wonder if it's still there. I don't know. We'll see. What the hell is Zanga? It, it was, was like, like a blog the before first a blog. Blogging, like, but vlog style blogging, kind of. Yeah, but this it was the same. Where, like, That's where I had my first uh, bullying session. Wait, were you oh. being bullied or were you bullying? I was totally being bullied, but like, whatever. I didn't care. It was because I was a lesbian, so I just took it and owned it. <laughs> I didn't come out until I was an adult, but you know, the online, you either have thick skin or you don't. Yeah, I heard Zelda too. That's true. What is Zelda? Oh, no, yeah. No, Zanga. <laughs> X-A-N-G-A, if you guys want to go down an internet rabbit hole of the 90s and 2000s. I'd rather go to Ebound. <laughs> Ebound's world, yeah, that was you were about to see somebody die. Or which, by the, which, by the way, is where I found that SNL skit just now while we were talking. I'll send it Wait, to you guys. It still yeah. exists. Ebound's oh, world. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's one of it's one of the good ones from back in the day. Was it uh, new? That and Newgrounds was the other one. Newgrounds, new yeah, that was that was a tank logo, right? The guy on the tank. I think yeah, the guy in tank. Yeah. All right, I'm about to just my whole oh. life gonna be rough. Yes, I do what? remember. No, the one you were talking about was the guy with the tank. I think I do remember that. Yeah. 